Thailand, the land of smiles, known for its fascinating culture, beautiful beaches, delicious food, and friendly people. Thailand is a country I've dreamed of visiting for a long time. In January of 2023, I was blessed with the opportunity to explore this quintessential paradise for seven days. I will be sharing my adventures and experiences across Thailand with the intention of helping you navigate your visit. Here's an overview of the journey. The journey begins in Bangkok, Thailand's capital and largest city. It is one of Asia's most cosmopolitan cities, with magnificent temples and palaces, busy markets and a vibrant nightlife. After two days in Bangkok, we fly south to Phuket, amongst the world's finest beach destinations. We spend three days visiting beautiful beaches and, of course, exploring the renowned Koh Phi Phi Islands. Lastly, we fly north to wrap up our journey in Chiang Mai. Much greener and quieter than Bangkok, surrounded by mountains and lush countryside, here we shop in Old Town and visit the Kanta Elephant Sanctuary. A few things to note before we begin. We visited Thailand mid-January 2023. There are three seasons in Thailand. A cool season between November and February, a hot season between March and May, and a rainy or monsoon season between June and October. Heat, humidity, and rainfall vary significantly depending on when and where you're traveling. Our main means of transportation was the Grab app, Thailand's version of Uber, which was generally reliable. The few times the app couldn't find us a driver, we were able to charter local taxis. Other options are tuk-tuks, buses, river ferries, sky trains, and the subway system. Just be sure to carry extra cash. Getting to Bangkok is no short feat. We depart Miami International Airport and fly 11 hours to Turkey for the first leg of the journey. After a four-hour layover in Istanbul Airport, we fly an additional nine hours to Bangkok International Airport. We test out the Grab app for the first time and a taxi arrives within 10 minutes to take us to the Chillax Resort located near the Bangkok Riverside. After such a long trip, the hotel bed looks very inviting, but time is limited and I am excited to start exploring. We grab some lunch at a nearby restaurant, then take a 10 minute walk to the river ferry. One of the most fun ways of exploring the waterways of Bangkok is jumping on a river or canal boat. There are a couple of different types of boats along the river, with the express river boats being the main ones. These boats run up and down the Chow Phraya River and also provide a connection to the local areas of the Thornbury side. They are a useful way for many people to get into the central parts of the city. Our first stop is Wat Pho Temple, also known as the Temple of the Reclining Buddha. The cost to enter is 200 Thai baht. Visitors need to take off their shoes before entering any of the religious buildings. For men, long pants and shirts with sleeves are required. For women, shoulders and chest area must be covered and pants must reach past the knees. The next temple we visit is Wat Arun, also known as the Temple of Dawn. Wat Arun is one of the most beautiful temples in all of Bangkok. Surrounded by lush vegetation and generally inhabited by resident cats, Wat Arun is a tranquil and lovely place. The sun is starting to set and we are treated to some stunning views. Temples and palaces to consider visiting in and around Bangkok. Our first night in Bangkok and we are getting ready to experience the city's nightlife.
We get some dinner, then take the 15 minute walk towards the legendary and lively backpacking district of Kaosan Road. Jam packed with Russia's bars and restaurants as well as budget hostels, it's a favorite for late night revelers. We awake early and hop in a grab bound for Damnuan Sadwak floating market, about an hour and a half drive southwest of Bangkok. Our grab driver deliberately drops us to the end of the canal versus the main market entrance and then refuses to bring us to the correct location. There were bottles being offered at this particular location, but they were charging 6,500 Thai baht, a more than 400% markup in price. One tour operator becomes disgruntled when we refuse their services. For reference, the general price for boat tours through the main entrance is 500 Thai baht for a paddle boat and a little more for the motorized boat. With the help of Google Maps, we walk about 20 minutes to the main entrance and center of the market. The Amron Sadwak floating market is one of the most popular floating markets in Thailand. Great for photo opportunities, Thai food and providing insight to a bygone way of life. An early morning start is worth it to avoid the heat and to catch the market at its liveliest. Markets to consider visiting in and around Bangkok. The Grab app was unable to locate any drivers heading back to Bangkok. We pay a taxi to take us to a nearby bus stop, then take a minivan back to Bangkok for 160 Thai baht. We hop on a local bus to get us closer to our hotel. Utilizing public transportation to make our way back to Bangkok was a nice adventure. We were lucky to have our time in Thailand correlate with the Chinese New Year and celebrations taking place throughout the country. We head over to Yarrawat, the Chinatown of Bangkok, to check out the festivities. Chinese New Year is the festival that celebrates the beginning of a new year on the traditional lunisolar Chinese calendar. The streets are decorated in bright red with beautiful Chinese lanterns hanging from above and dragon dancers parading along the roads. We say farewell to Bangkok and take the one and a half hour flight to Phuket International Airport. Bayfo Lifestyle is a great little boutique hotel with friendly staff. We'll be staying here for the next three days. The hotel is located on a quiet side street and is within walking distance of Patong Beach as well as many restaurant options. We spend the next couple days exploring the area and the many beautiful beaches. We get up at 6 a.m. to prepare for a day trip to Koh Phi Islands. To get to Koh Phi, we take a 45-minute speedboat ride from the Phuket Rasada Pier. A 90-minute ferryboat ride is also available from either Phuket or Grabi. The Phi Islands are an archipelago of six islands, with the two main islands being Phi Don and Phi Le. These islands are exceptional tropical getaways in Southeast Asia. Phi has pristine beaches, stunning rock formations and vivid turquoise waters teeming with colorful marine life. We arrive at Tonsai Pier. From Koh Phi Don, we take a private longboat to explore the smaller islands. Our first stop is Monkey Island. I am tempted to take off my shirt and dive into the clear waters, but I have to wait a bit longer until the next stop. We arrive at the next location and our boat captain anchors. Here we jump into the Phi Phi waters for the first time. And what an amazing experience. The water is cool, clear and refreshing. We swim for about 25 minutes then head to the world famous Maya Bay, a beautiful cove made famous by the beach, the 2000 film starring Leonardo DiCaprio. 
Unsurprisingly, the cove is packed with tourists. Nonetheless, swimming is prohibited at this beach. Next up is Pile Bay, where we have some lunch on the boat and do some snorkeling. This location is much deeper than the first one. We then head back to Ko Pipi Dun. The entire longboat tour was around 4 hours and definitely worth it. We explored Pipi Dun a bit before taking the speedboat back to Phuket. This day trip to Pipi Islands is definitely one of the highlights of my trip to Thailand. The journey continues in the north as we take a 2 hour flight to Chiang Mai International Airport. Chiang Mai, known as the Rose of the North, is a city of distinct beauty with its own unique cultural heritage. Along with its numerous ancient temples and buildings, Chiang Mai is also famous for its handicrafts. Nathia stands out here with its majestic mountains and valleys creating beautiful scenery. We stay at the Golden Bell Hotel, a 10 minute drive from the airport and located in the heart of Chiang Mai city. We enter Old Town through its big bronze walls and explore several temples scattered throughout. Wat Chai Man, the oldest temple in Old Town, is famous for its Lana style chidi, supported by rows of elephant shaped buttresses. The beautiful ordination hall enshrines an ancient Buddha image, revered by Chiang Mai locals. Next, we take a 25 minute walk to visit Wararat Market. Wararat Market is one of the top markets in Chiang Mai, boasting an impressive array of fresh produce alongside ready-to-eat snacks and meals. The market is busy and vibrant as we navigate through the maze of local goods. We purchase herbal teas, dried fruits, spices and snacks, with vendors allowing us to sample beforehand. Close by is the florist market, Muang Chiang Mai. Our final day in Chiang Mai, we head to Kanta Elephant Sanctuary for a half day excursion. The morning is pretty chilly as we change into the provided traditional wear. We are given pouches of sugarcane, bowls of bananas and leaves which we take with us to meet the elephants. The cost is 1500 Thai baht per person, which includes hotel pickup and drop off, light snacks and refreshments and interaction with the elephants. Visitors are provided opportunity to spend quality time with elephants in their habitat, as well as gain an insight into their history behavior and care. We engage and feed the elephants and they are content gobbling up the food. The elephants are friendly but I remain a bit cautious. After feeding, the elephants are led to a nearby river to bathe. They spear us with their trunks as we scrub them down. I'm not sure if this is deliberate or not. After the bath, we take more pictures and say goodbye to these majestic creatures. We check out of our hotel and head to the airport where we fly back to Bangkok, then to Istanbul and back to Miami. There you have it, my 7 day trip to Thailand. What an amazing experience it was that I'm already contemplating visiting again. I hope I was able to provide some inspiration as you plan your trip to Thailand. Please be safe on your travels and as always, thanks for watching.